Hello Watchers and welcome to a Art Snacks unboxing. Um, I decided to get this month's boss because it, I got it half price if I resubscribe. So let's get straight into it and see what we get. It's supposed to be Watercolour July month or World Watercolour uh, month for July so there should be some watercolour goodies in this box. Alright so first up we've got our surface which is Fabriano Watercolour Hot Pressed 25% cotton uh, studio watercolour which is basically their student grade paper. Um, it's 300 GSM. I thought that was going to be the thickness of one sheet, then I was going to be so impressed, but no. It's it's quite thin compared to some of the 300 GSM sheets. But we'll see how it holds up the water soon. And just get rid of the box. This is very light. Then we have got a micron set of free pens in the very big sizes. These are the number 8, 10 and 12. So 0.50 millimeter, 0.60 millimeter and 0.70. So these are quite chunky boys. Um, so yeah, you can never go wrong with micron pens. Um, we've also got a double bubble um chewing gum sweetie um next up we have got some washi which is art snacks own brand which with watercolors you can never go wrong with a bit of washi tape so let's just pull a little bit of this off well it easily tears but that's the beautiful logo um well i won't say beautiful logo but definitely clever nice pretzel in the shape of a pencil in the shape of a pretzel shall we say so that's quite nice i like that but that's i believe supposed to be a free gift i don't think they're putting like a monetary value on that well i hope they're not because i hate to see them start doing their own branded stuff and then expecting you to pay over the odds for it like a certain other art subscription box that shall we name nameless <coughs> But yeah, let's see what we've got in here. We've got our sticker, our spotty sticker. And we've got my wonderful art crayon by my favorite brand, Marabu. I hope you can hear the sarcastic tone in my voice right now. Um, yeah, I hate these. Um, and then we've got a very, yep cheap brush I mean this is art snacks right I mean no oh, okay right fine it's a brush then we've got a graphic pencil in H by Creative Color Fine Art Graphite these are a decent brand but it's a pencil so you know we have lots of them then we have got a teeny tiny 5 mil um, Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolour uh, Phalo Turquoise. I believe everybody that gets the box gets different colours. So I've got a turquoise in a white. So it's going to be very monochrome, which I don't think I've ever done before. So that's going to be interesting to see what I can come up with. And that's it. I mean, this is supposed to be World Watercolour Month. I mean, I wasn't expecting a lot because as soon as they said they're doing the box half price, I was like, yeah, you're going to cheap out on the products. I know you are. Um, and in that respect, they haven't disappointed. Um, okay. Yeah, so with the plus box, you've got the student grade paper, um, a set of Micron, the Thick Boys. 
Um, and then the bonus art prompt is just use the white art snacks box as a blank canvas and decorate it with all supplies from your box or just a few. <sighs> so they can't even be bothered to do an actual prompt anymore. That's disappointing. Art snacks, really disappointing. Yes, they have put monetary value on the washi tape, which is two dollars and ninety-nine cents. It's limited edition art snacks exclusive until they put it in their shop. Just quickly looking at the prices. I know it's in American dollars. Yeah, I, I really want to see how much this is in pounds, in UK pounds. I want to see if they've even come close to the price bracket. Okay, so for this box, because I got it half price, um, it was twenty-nine dollars and forty-nine cents. Was that with postage and packaging? Yes, I believe it was. That was with postage and packaging, so that's not too bad. But however, this half price, half price deal was only available to even new subscriptions or if you hadn't been subscribed for a while. So if you got this box in your normal rolling subscription, you are going to be so pissed for the reason I'm, I'm about to tell you. Okay. Daniel Smith is £6.20 for a 5ml tube in the UK. This, all these pies, apart from the washi tape, are from Jackson's Art, by the way. I'll leave a link below, so if you do want to order from them for any of this stuff or any other stuff that takes your fancy, um, if you use my link below, you'll get 10% off your first order. Um, yeah, so that's £6.20. The paper is £8.40. As I said, it's student grade, not artist, so it's a little bit cheaper. The micron set is £6.82. Um, the crayon wasn't in Jackson's, and that's probably for a good reason. <laughs> um, I looked on Amazon, and they're £3.95 on Amazon but only because these are US-based art suppliers. And to me, the Mareview brand is actually the equivalent of our high-end Poundland brands, you know, like the Royal and Langnickel sort of area. So that's sort of the category I put in, in that. But even if these were only a pound, I wouldn't buy them. But it's just, just oh. I don't know. Maybe I'll have better luck when I start swatching them or playing around with it, but we'll see. Um, pencil, 82 pence for just a standard H pencil. Um, there's nothing special about it. It's just a graphite pencil. The brush is 64 pence because in the Poundland store, you can get a whole bunch of these refillable water brushes and there's nothing special about this one it's just a cheap one um like i mean the more sort of expensive ones like the pine dash you've got more control with how much water is pumped and how much water you can put in the same with the tombow and these are actually really cheap but they still have a better quality than what this does and again same with the one i've had this ages hence it's heavily stained but again not too expensive but much better quality than this crap that arts have decided to give us so in total that is 26 pounds and 83 pence not including the washi tape, because I refuse to add that to the list because that is something Art Snacks has decided to do themselves. Um, and I don't like it when these art subscriptions start pushing their own products on you and expect you to swallow it and be happy with it. Um, again, yeah, I'm not going to mention the other box. Uh, so, in terms of price, yes, you are saving, in the UK anyway, you are saving £4. But again, it's because these are overpriced. Really overpriced. Um, <sighs> but if I was a regular subscriber like I was last year, I would be extremely upset with this because the regular box is like $39 without shipping. So it's then another $10 on the top for shipping to the UK. So that would be $49.99. And so basically $50, which then equates to be about £42 in the UK. Between £40 and £42. So I would be losing a whole 20 odd pounds if this was a regular subscription for me. So it's great, I suppose, if you, you know, you just get in this box because it's half price. Great on you. Um, but if you're a regular subscriber, Art Snacks have really done you a dirty here and I would be absolutely fuming with them. I mean, in past boxes, when I have had them in the last couple of years, when they have sort of cheaped out a little bit, it's only been like one or two dollars or one or two pounds. It's not been too bad. But when it's over 20 odd pounds, that's just, that's just, it's just taking the piss. Um, <clears throat> and you're betraying your subscribers, which, <sighs> yeah, I'm not happy about that. But the other thing, even though I did get this half price, I'm not happy about is the fact that the whole point of this box, hence they've done a washi tape, is for water, world watercolour man. They've given us one little tube of watercolour. Now yes, I know this crayon is apparently water soluble, but it is shit. So, <sighs> they should have given us at least one, if not another Daniel Smith 5 mil. Um, so we've got some variation in colour, and get rid of the cheap ass brush, the crayon. And maybe the pencil, maybe not the pencil. They should have given us a normal standard brush mid-range one the washi tape with two colors so we uh, at least two or three colors that would have made a fantastic little watercolor box and then obviously with the plus box you've then got the liners in the paper but they've just really cheaped out <sighs> Ooh, this is making me angry really angry um they don't normally give you a bonus prompt for the normal mums it's just a case of basically use everything you get in the box 
But again, like I said earlier, they've not even bothered. They just said, oh, use your box, which you can use anyway. You don't need permission for that. Um, so they've not even bothered to say, do some fantastical watercolor the underwater scene or the, you know, something. They've just not even been bothered. <sighs> so yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's next. Wow. <sighs> yeah. I, 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 I can't, without swearing and really laying into art snacks, which is not very good for A, art snacks and B, my channel, because um, that's not what I'm about. Uh, I'm not going to say anything more. I'm just going to go have a cup of tea, <laughs> calm down, think about what crap they've given us and see if I can come up with something nice to do with them. Um, So I've gone ahead and done a sketch. I should have put a clip in of me sketching because um, I did it outside because we have, are currently getting beautiful summer weather here in the UK. So I took the opportunity to sit outside and sketch. Um, I'll put a reference image on the overlay for what I'm doing. Um, this image I just love. I, this building's a little bit crazy anyway because of all the squares and stripes and things. Um, but I just love the way that this sun um, creates all these highlights and shadows. So I thought it'd be quite nice to try and do in monochrome um, phalo turquoise. So let's get in and get started. While the time lapse is playing, I thought that I would read an abstract from an article by the architect of this building, Mario B Boto, and show you some of the images and drawings of this wonderful little building. So here goes, the church at Mango Fossil. This article was written in 1988, so obviously some of the phraseology and things might be a little bit dated. Um, it's published by the MIT Press on behalf of Perspecta. As a first principle, I consider the work of the architect to be the product of a meteor. The meteor is a distinct institution of man, distinct from the word of professionalism that has come to dominate the creative endeavours of our time. Today, most of man's activities have been embraced by the professions because of their nature. The professions are inher inherently limited in the way they manifest man's uh, ambitions. The professional provides solutions to the specific demands and is therefore engaged in the provision of service. The engineer is a professional concerned with the revolution of certain technical questions posed to him by a client. The biologist is a professional engaged in the development of very specific procedures and methods defined by the world of need in this sense the profession is highly in this sense the profession is highly standardized within the prevailing system of production it is a di direct con consequence to technical fact in a certain way we could say that through profession specific solutions are requested the meteor on the other hand constitutes an interpretation of the necessities and desires that present within a community. A member of this meteor, one addresses not only a technical, but a moral responsibility. The meteor carries within its process not only the necessity technical data to arrive at a solution, but the historical consequence of its activity as well. The meteor is tied to a knowledge which is inherited in its own epic depth. The professional is not prepared to find what happened before him or what will happen after him. The meteor, on the other hand, involves a knowledge that goes beyond the executor. There is a sensitivity in the meteor through which one may face the problems of our age. The operational technique, however, is something different, something quite deep, a technique that man carries as an inheritance. The meteor con constitutes a discipline which offers conditions fundament 
fundamentally problematic with regard to modern life. In effect, the media offers more problems than solutions. Good architecture is architecture that interrogates us. That is, it invokes a problematic of our modern life. From this point of view, I consider architecture as an instrument to resist the Fatalization. of the modern. <laughs> architecture, by nature, offers something beyond man's life. It changes itself with values that existed before man. I believe that architecture is one of the few human activities that can be witnessed to a great past while retaining capability to become the barometer of sem sensitivity of its own era. It becomes a witness to the desires of its own time. I believe that all creative activities have as their objective the recuperation of the great past. As a resistance to today's banality and in order to be witness to tomorrow, we must paradoxically pursue the active values of the past, the values of memory and the architectural structures that architecture carries within itself. Because of this, I believe that architecture should be easily recognised. Architecture cannot be anything that responds to solely to the epiphereal or to the modern or to the contingent. The architecture I speak of carries within itself the idea of man's habitation. I use this introduction to link the objects of the meteor to the character and the ambitions of my studio. I see myself as an artisan. My atelier is one of artisans. An atelier of artisans means that at each problem you start all over again. There are no recipes or systems or mechanisms available to you to solve these problems. Each time you begin, you have the magic and mystery of a white sheet of paper on the desk and a new problem to attack. It's a great way of looking at architecture and very beautifully worded. I've probably butchered it with my voice, but there we go. Um, the next bit is, it has been very meaningful, the process by which this project has been born. Last year, a very slow avalanche destroyed this 17th century church. The vast and central structure of this particular village, along with five or six nearby houses. This represents a very natural fact that in the history of these mountains has happened many times before. One reads of such events in literature of the mountains. We hear of them in stories and in the histories of many villagers. Nevertheless, this event affected me, as I could not have predicted. When I was told of the destruction of the, of the church, of the descending mass of snow that finally caused the bells of this church to ring one last time, slowly erasing the work of man, I felt something new. My feeling was this. Even as a man of the 20th century, I am witness to an extraordinary event. A small manifestation of nature has been cancelled out the work of man. This has happened not in history, but in literature. Not in pre-industrial 19th century, but today. When we believe that with advances of technology, we can control organisational captivity of this world. This is not something that has happened as the pioneers struggled in their conquest of the mountains. It has happened as we have helplessly watched it on television. This suggests to me that the struggle of man against the mountain remains constant. We cannot suffer any delusion that because of television there are no longer be avalanches. This destruction has occurred because nature shows an extraordinary violence towards anything made by man. A few months after the avalanche, the inhabitants of this village began to clear out the rubble and imme immediately set to work rebuilding their houses. At one point, I was asked to rebuild the church. I accepted with great enthusiasm, despite my belief that, that these people did not really have a need for such a church. The idea of the church has changed very radically in the life of this village. At this point in history, it may be captured and expressed through many means other than architecture, but these men would not accept that nature would want to sweep away their father's work. 
they would not allow nature to erase the sign of an avic work. They asked me to bear witness to, f to future generations that a church has existed here. I am interested in this because here the idea of a building reposes the concept of the avic struggle between man and nature. This, in the, this is the deepest and most religious meaning of the rebuilding of a church. I do not know whether people believe in God, but it is clear they believe in man. This is enough to move me for their cause, to participate in this necessity to preserve the built space against the will of nature. This is the message I would like to communicate through this new architecture. The will of man to resist in time, to bear witness to what existed before, to build for an eternity, between the need for infinity and for the awareness of one's own limitation lies the space where the architecture operates. With this understanding, I felt that the church must be placed against the moment through its own gravity. It must possess a weight significant to resist the basiliation of the moment of a moment, a destiny significant to absorb an archaic nature of its rebuilding. It must appeal to the way in its struggle against the mountain. I felt initially that to express effortlessly this concept required the use of only a single material. I could not imagine such a construction in composite terms because of any such construction composed of any material is by nature weak. I chose stone, a local ch stone that one sees in the mountains around the village with the expectation that with this one material we could do anything the foundation the floors the walls the the buttressing arches the door such an appropriation of stone suggested to me another aspect of this meaning of human intention and the will of land the space of the church is defined by an ellipse placed along the axes of the old church incited by a rectangular volume set entirely within. The ellipse has two centres, representing signs of man's finding roots on earth. I give strength to the thickness found between the inside and outside wall, ex excavating the thickness in order to obtain the secondary spaces necessary to the church. There is nothing on its own propriety except a small piazza. The entire form is convinced so as to offer the last, least resistance to the forces of the mountain. The ellipse has been angularly cut in sections so that a perfect circle is formed as its terminus. The will of the church then is to transform two transcendental points of geometric construction into a single celestial point. By this transformation we obtain something that cannot be truly considered either by either a facade of a roof, but solely an opening towards the sky. There are two huge brushstring arches that define the central span and provide support for, the, for an enclosing structure I will call the roof. I worked very hard on this roof, thinking for a long time that it must be of stone. Eventually I understood that the roof must be a structure of our own time, since the true aspiration of this church is to be without a roof. The roof is then an inferior element that may change with time. Again, this is to link to the medieval church destroyed in the avalanche. We know that such medieval churches had many roofs throughout the centuries. They remained in use, being rebuilt periodically as required by their condition. In this way, the roof becomes the element that may point to different times in history. While, what, while the walls, the plan, and the spatial structure aspire to eternity. Without the roof, the building is reduced to a ruin, which is the condition by which it was born. This conceived me to make the roof of this church entirely out of glass, fully detached from the masonry structure below, as an element that is capable of being replaced in future centuries. There are the elements and the materials of the church. They are intentionally few. 
so as to make explicit explicit and in they are intentionally few so as to make explicit the intensity and the conviction of their use they are not asked to represent any ambition any circumstance any moment in life of the church or its co congregation but to simply manifest the will of an of an avic work to survive Within the complex of this village, the church will be read as a large structure confronting the trees and the houses around its huge signal. I hope and anticipate that in the year 2000, when all built work will be consigned to informality and more and more open to the consumption, there will be in this church a form of resistance, a force in the opposite direction, aspiring to be for an eternity. This is the program for the church. You can understand how its spiritual and religious meaning becomes a sign in itself. I'm actually quite pleased with this piece. Um, this is like my first full watercolour, especially on like an almost A4 size. Um, so it was quite a challenge, not only A, because it's watercolour, I'm not a watercolourist at all, and B, because it was just one colour, so I had to really work on tones and getting light ones and dark ones and things. So it was it was very interesting, and it was quite fun, actually. I was a bit apprehensive starting it, but once I got into it, I was fine. Um, but yeah, let me know, you guys, if you, if you really enjoy watercolour. And you probably can actually tell me about a million and ten things I did wrong. But hey-ho, I'm here to learn. Just like you guys, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on Art Snacks and if you've noticed a change in their quality. I hope that they get better because this year, for the rest of this year, I'm going to have Scroller Box. Um, and next year I was going to switch back to Art Snacks because I kind of missed them. But after this box, I'm a little bit dubious about what they're going to do. So I'm going to keep an eye on um, what they do for the rest of the year. And if they don't improve, um, I'm going to find a different subscription box to go with. Um, I know there's Palifull, Palifull Packs and Upcrate and Smart Art and Sketchbox. Um... So I'll look into those ones if, if Art Snacks don't pull, pull up their socks. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about Art Snacks. Um, I know they used to be really great and they were fantastic, but I just I think they're just getting a little bit too comfortable, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, please hit, hit that thumbs up if you like my content and please do consider subscribing as I have a lot more content on the way. Do please share my video with anyone you think might like my stuff. I will appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching and in the meantime, happy architecting.